Hello everyone, my name is Mutual and welcome to Season 6 mod collection. So I decided to make another of these uh, mod explanation videos because the changes in the mods have been have been happening and this will be the most likely setup for the Season 6. I probably will record first episode today but I'm not actually 100% sure so I might be do study tomorrow. But on that note, it will happen this week, so <laughs> you will you will eventually see see hopefully one of the videos. Anyways, the classes I am gonna go does not include actually infantryman class. It is a fine class, but 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 it doesn't really do that anything that special. Overall, I'm, I'm looking a little bit less classes this time, so the leader pack will be there if it works. I'm, I have not personally tested this. Some people say that it works on the new DLC, so I'm gonna trust them. Uh, the Codebreaker class seemed to be a fine class, so 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 I'm going to include it. I kind of like the Rogue class, and on the other hand, I really don't like it. So I'm just gonna leave it out this time. Sorry, Rogue, but 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 that's going to happen. Tank class is another class which uses some unique skills but I just feel like the it's either my playstyle or something in the skills but overall the defensive skills on XCOM is are really not that useful and I find that I don't really want to use any of them so it's kind of waste of a class so the new class will be Stone Guard Infantry class this is definitely going to be an interesting new class. Uh, one of the reasons, actually, can I see it? Yeah, there are the. This is its skills, skill tree, so to say. One of the main reasons why I'm interested to try this is that uh, it has the squatty skill blast padding, which is something I was talking about so, so at some point, because I feel like the blast padding is actually pretty good as a squatty skill. So everyone in this class will automatically get that and oh other skills they don't look that that uh how should I say it? They don't look that uh, overpowered so it's actually seems to be a well a well balanced class, maybe a little bit too well balanced because the colonel skill is actually a little bit lackluster. But I'm gonna see how it works out. It, it it looks fairly interesting. So the tank class we will be skipping, and the shock, shock trooper I am going to keep. It's it is a little bit weird class, but I have not I have not got any of these shock trooper guys to get that high on my uh, experience list or or rankings. So I wanna see how it goes on. We will still go with the EA increased enemy squad size mod and 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 this is new mod a better advent all the enemies. What this mod does is it actually takes all the uh, new enemy type mods and makes a sensible squads out of them. So 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 like last time I had the uh, advent ascension and a better advent only uh, or. I had other mods too, but those were the major mods. So sometimes you get the Advent Ascension spawn, sometimes you get the, a better Advent spawn. But with this mod, they should be combined in the uh, very uh, somehow or somewhat balanced mm, uh, squads, enemy squads. So it will be interesting to see how it works. But I think I, I think it overall it sounds like it will balance out the squads a, lot, a little bit better than without it. So yeah, I'm gonna be using that. One of the big uh, mods I won't be using, at least not in the beginning. I might activate this in the end game if we ever get to the end game, but from the start I won't be using the additional mission types. The reason is that this, this, some of these missions are just way too hard, and some of them are, or all of them are insanely long. But, 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 they are. I like them. I do. I really do like them. 
but I just feel that they are kind of kind of weird mix. They are always very hard, and yeah, that's why I'm removing them. I this time I want to finish the game. I don't want to. I don't want to make it so hard that I cannot get past 20 episodes or something like that. I will still be using the configurable mission timers and have it set up for uh, two turns, just like in the season five. Extended dark events, sure. I'm gonna use that. Still, some of them are kind of nasty, but 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 I think I can live with that. Long war toolbox. Yet another mod I have not personally tested, but people keep saying that it works just fine. So I will I will actually be using that. Oh, one thing, I'm going to disable this for the first mission. Once again, because I cannot increase the squad size. I do want to play with the increased squad size, as that felt a little bit uh, different from the normal XCOM. Or it felt pretty nice to have all those eight guys at, uh, at the center. How should I say it? Middle part of the game. So it just gives you that many more options, tactical options to have the extra guys. But I can only do that after the first mission, so yeah, we will start without the increased enemy squad size. These mods are something I've been testing around, but will not be using squad cohesion. If it works, it seems to be working fine, so that will be in. And I will be using it. These are true concealment, better bots. Better bots would be better to the increased squad size, but it has some... <sighs> Let's just say that there are some warnings by the mod maker that it might not work as intended, so... So, so, I will wait until he says that it's fixed before using it, because... Yeah. The increased enemy squad size does pretty much the same thing. But, but, but. Yeah. This would be a little bit more intelligent option, but, but, but. The increased enemy squad size worked fine last time, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. A better advent, a major overhaul. Yep, indeed. I kinda liked it. I have not seen the end game, guys, but. The last mission on the season 5 showed that there will be some really hard enemies, so that's going to be interesting. I'm going to with Advent Askens, and I was saying that I may, might not go with that, but with the, uh, a better Advent, all the enemies mod, hopefully it will be a little bit more balanced experience. There will be the Advent Commander, Draco enemy mods, this we don't, didn't actually see. We did see Mutant Centurion, and I didn't actually feel like it was that much harder. I think it's supposed to be kind of elite variant of Mutant, but... Yeah, well, maybe it had more hit points, but... Didn't feel like it was... Doing much in one or other, other direction, so I'm gonna keep it in. Yeah, this is what's for the debugging. After action days wounded. Yeah, these are all the visual slash customization or informational mods. You can crop in this launcher, or, or you can crop the mods in this launcher and create categories. And that's what I do did here, so I can keep track of track of my mods a little bit easier. Just a random thing, if you didn't know. So most of these are just what they say, something like. Cobra tattoos, because why not? I added some new visual and customization options, uh, if I can just find some. I'm not gonna go through all them, because they just add some new graphics. Eldritch face paints is new face paints, why not? Then there's the Eurasian special forces, all kind of new face paints and camouflages and all that. Uh, that's old. Uh, animal face paint, sir. Mm. What other options did I have? I think, yeah, the old war voice pack collection. This is from the long war, I believe. If I'm not. I never played the long war, so I don't really know. 
but I think this was from the long war, all the all the voice backs from from that. So yeah, they are now in, so we will have some new voices, I think. Items inventory, of course, my mod has been uploaded slightly. I think I will do another video about my own mod, just to have it on the Steam Workshop and explain all of all of the changes I've been doing. Because the old video is old at this point, it's it's not exactly anymore like that. Because of the damn Alien Hunters DLC and the stuff, I had to change because of that. But yeah. I will explain more about that on its own video at some point. Other than that, high quality rounds, good content ammo, the shield vest, SMG pack, these are all from the old old collection pretty much. Bug fixes, memorial wall bleed out fix is still there. Rest of the bug fixes have been fixed by that patch, so. So, so. I have not actually checked if all these mo oh, map packs are working. So I will do that before I start the game. But if they are working with the new thing, I will go with them. These are the three map packs. I don't think there are any more map packs, but if there are, I would love to have them. But yeah, the biggest changes are with the visual and customization from the previous season. And with the additional mission types not being in the game at all. At least for now, and some class changes. Overall, I, I overall I feel like uh, having too many classes is actually actually detrimental to the game because because you just have too many different classes and you cannot even keep track what is what. So I'm gonna go with these three new classes and see if they are good. One option would be removing the original classes but I feel that they are just so well balanced that I, I kind of like them so and yeah you kind of get used to them but 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 at some point I do kind of hope that I might be getting a one run with only mod classes and not the original classes at all but we will see if that will ever happen problem with the classes is that there are hundreds of them and there is no system to kind of <laughs> see what does what and what is good what is not good so yeah that's a, that's a bit disaster but yeah so that is for the mods hopefully that was all you wanted to know if not ask if you have some good mod suggestion or something Something uh, I don't want to add any more game changing mods which uh, affect the game balance because I wanna keep it kinda small this time and go with uh, almost vanilla experience so to say. Just because I there is the new 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 DLC and then there's the Alien Hunters DLC and I have not finished bo either of them so I I this time I do wanna finish the game and finish both of the DLCs. And I actually heard that the new DLC has some bugs in the, or some of the mods will bug on the new DLC, so this won't be Iron Man run either, but I will try to kinda emulate the Iron Man run. We will see how it <laughs> plays out, as on the previous season I did some creative cheating at times, but, but, but definitely there will be no saves coming, uh, or the constant reload, save, reload stuff. Because that's just, I don't like that at all. But yeah. Uh, so if you have some good good visual or something. Uh, uh, something like that. Or just overall good ideas which are good mods. I might do them in future. So I would love to of course know them. One of the interesting things is the, actually now that we get to talking into what mods would be cool. Is the granite damage fall off mod? I was thinking that if you had something like three grenades for each grenade you have equipped, the uh, grenade mod which reduces the damage the grenade does 
would actually make kind of sense. They would kind of balance each other out. So that would be kind of fun, but then again, it would mean that actually we have a lot of more grenades to throw around. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's not, maybe it's not that great, but that would be certainly a little bit more realistic approach or as realistic as you can get in a, such a skiffy game. But you know, why, why everyone would have only one grenade, who knows, but something like three grenades, sure. That, that sounds, that sounds a little bit more real, but yeah, before I get into that rabbit hole, that's just some idea I have been having. I don't know if there are mods that actually make your grenades to have more uses, but combining that with the reduced, reduced grenade damage fall off sounds a little bit interesting to me. So. If there is not a mod which does that, I think there is mods which do very similar things, so it wouldn't be a hard task to edit those and, you know, create a mod. But, yeah, I will end this video here. Let me know what you think. This will be the season 6 and I do hope that I will finish it once again. But, yeah, see you on the first episode. Bye.